and welcome to this week's episode of Magoo's Corner. I'm your host, Trevor Gregg, joined by the difference, Sean Jacobs and Trev. Hello again, Trev. Hello again, mate. We've said it four or five times already. Um, we're going to have a look at the first game. Now, this one was at Thebit and Oval. A um, little bit of a shock for me, because it was first versus third, and Sacred Heart, 11 7 73 to Modbury, 5 9 39. Yep, upset. He, Trev didn't think it about 10 minutes before when we had a little blooper. But, uh, but no, yep, it was a little bit of an upset, but now yeah, it's just uh, open it right up on top of the ladder. I reckon all three sides are all sitting uh, on the same points now, so yeah, really opened up the DB2 now. The first four are sitting on five on one, only separated by a percentage. So yeah, that's all um, up top. So absolutely very much a tight one up top. Um, so looking at um, the goal scorers here for Modbury, we have Robinson with two, Hahn, Knightley and Dawson. And the better players were Warden, Holland, Burrows, uh, Greffa and Elliot. And the Sacred Heart, we had Turton with three and plenty of single goal scorers. I'm not going for all of them, take too long and I will get most of them wrong. Uh, best players, Button, Taylor, Turton, Clark and Bruckner. That's a great win for Sacred Heart. Yeah, yeah, absolutely it was. Win. Because um, that's that's pretty much that, that was Mobbury's first loss, um, and that was very team, very yeah. good. Yeah. Um, looking at the next one, Spockies um, hosted Broadview at Caterer Oval, um, and it was 14-7-91 to St Peter's nine six sixty. Yeah, and they were uh, never in it. Sp oh no, they were at half time, but then after that got yeah, blown away in the last half. So yeah, um, yeah, good on Broadview. I think that. Struggling a little bit in the ones as well, maybe? Oh, yeah. In the ones, I think they are a little bit. Yeah. Um, well, twos is going right, yeah, sitting yeah. mid-table, so yeah, not a bad move. Pearson with seven, so that's a nice day out. White with a couple, um, De Palma also with two. Um, and the better players were De Palma, Pearson, Ferguson, Smith and Felstick. And for Spockos, we had uh, their goal kickers, Laurie, Robbie, Maui, Belperio with two, Hunter with a single, and their best players were Wooded, Finley, uh, at uh, Valconan, Laurie, Maui and Belperio. It's uh, looking at uh, Belperio um, and Maui uh, regular yeah, um, in I'm those better players. When I was in the last one. Yeah, reckon you struggled with that, that <laughs> one too. <laughs> too bad, mate, with everybody. <laughs> and again, Old Ignatians are another club that give us play-by-play, -play, um, which is brilliant. It goes through about, um, I think we've got in the last quarter, Stewart um, was the last goal scorer there for Old Iggies. Um, out of the blocks, three goals three to no score to Scotch. Um, so just to get up in the end, 14, 13, 97 to 3, 6, 24 Scotch. Yeah. This is uh, this, uh, this is a surprise because Scotch, you know, they're they're A grade. I think are also struggling, yeah. but they haven't been this bad for, for quite a long time, if I remember yeah. correctly. Uh, they were did be four about five mm. years ago, I reckon. But I'm surprised that they got that low anyway because they, they've always usually been pretty handy Scotch. But yeah. Um, they would probably come back anyways in Scotch, just they would still stay up and dip it too, I think. <laughs> yeah, and with the, with the, um, the copious amounts of zero pointers that they'll have um, to come through um, over other clubs. Um, same with Old Ignatius, so just, and that's also <laughs> something that uh, Tommy brought up in the Division 1 um, uh, roundup also. So looking at it, it was only, they only kicked five goals in the third quarter to um, Scotch's two points. Yeah, and then, and two then it was again. just bang, two yeah. points again. Um, and then with Old Iggy's just kicking away in the last quarter. So yeah. we have a look at Scotch Old Collegians. We've got Bilby, Two Penny and Marsden were the goal scorers. Bilby, Isaacson and Archibald, Archie, Bald Archie um, were the better players. All right, Old Iggy's here. Goal kickers, uh, Jurisevic with four. I'm happy with myself for that one. Stuart, City <laughs> uh, with two and singles to Bagnarelli, Karen, Barber, Turner, Reynolds and Tui. Best players, Jurisevic, McCabe, Turner, Karen and Reynolds. Oh, I am proud. Oh, I'm very happy. I'm very proud of you. That was derp a derp. <laughs> <laughs> uh, next game, Gazer and Foss Camden. Um, at a Clemson Goval, um, it's knowing where, where Foss is sitting in fourth and you've got Gazer in seventh, they're struggling. I did think Gazer would be a better show than this. I think I did tip Foss Camden to win. It was 12 9 81 to Gazer's 9 3 57. Yeah, so I think it's about four goals in the end, so decent size win and, and more, a lot more scoring shots. Gazer's hit pretty, uh, pretty accurately, that's for certain. Yeah, so 21 to 12. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll go with Fossies for you. Thank you. Parslow with three. Young, Flett with a couple, McNamara, Walters, McGill, McDonald, and Papatolis. Um, and the best players, Papatolis, Cameron, Young, Parslow and Eddie. Papatolis again getting in the best players. Uh, you're looking amazing. Uh, 
Gazer, we had a McGregor a four, Peck three, Fuller and Denman with singles, and their best players were Khan, Stringer, Vivian, Peck and Fuller. That can't, that's not. No, nah, Sammy Fuller kicked 12 on the weekend for Flinders, if you're thinking of that one. No, uh, no, no I mean, Jake Khan. Fuller, sorry. Uh, oh, no, you can't. Yeah, is that, has he gone out to Gazer? No, he's at West Croydon. He's at West Croydon, I yeah. thought so. Um, I thought, no, not another club. Um, so that's a good win for, for Foss. Now, the last game of the round, um, which was one that was predicted, obviously. Um, that's an awful. <laughs> yeah, and uh, once again, it's, it's one of those things where having a chat like the C grade, they didn't win as much as what they thought they would. Yep. Um, and it was, it, was, it was a surprise to everybody else. Yeah, it was 18 goals, but when we were, I was talking to a few people, because I went and watched the C grade and watched the start of this game, um, which was Portland hosting Smosh at Port Reserve. Um, Portland, uh, they just don't have the players. Yeah, well, just again, it, yeah, the score, the score. And we'd be a bit disappointed. They were in it at half time, only three, three goals down. Yeah, and they, they just got blown away. Yeah, but probably fitness would be the thing out there. Yes, in their B grade maybe. Yeah, well, um, looking at it, it was two six eighteen to twelve thirteen eighty five. So, um, it's a win for Smosh, and I definitely know that they think that this should have been a, a lot bigger when you got. You got Trent Badman up at forward. You got the Parhams in there also. Yeah. Um, it's yeah, they've got a lot of talent there, but um, unfortunately for them, didn't get the yeah. job done. So um, looking at where they both are at the moment, Smosh sitting in six, Portland sitting on no wins at the moment with 9.2 percent, 77 points in the positive for them, um, with 20 in the red. So. Came on the weekend. Yes. Um, so we got Douglas and John Condelos, the goal scorer. So John Condelos has come back from he had a week off. Um, lost his teeth, <laughs> which is there? not a segue to something of being in Port Adelaide, but um, no, I think he got absolutely pummeled um, in a contest, and his teeth just went out all over the ground, um, and everybody sort of pitched him, <laughs> pitched him after the game to try and find him. But um, yeah, no, there's some things that Johnny can do now that he wasn't able to do with his mouth. Um, but uh, yeah, big Brad Caskey, the man mountain, um, was the best on ground with Matt Leonard. The brother-in-law and Stevie Vanderberg, 38, 36, 30, either 30, 37 or 38 years old, Stephen Vanderberg. Played Division 1 reserves last year because I, <laughs> I had nobody. <laughs> but that's where you, when you get when you take an opportunity like Stevie did, and he played extremely well, um, and it's it's well, it's better for them now. Yeah. Sean Gilbert, uh, an under 16, I think, um, getting his first real senior game. Um, in the in the upper tier, um, but uh, you've got you've got a lot of young lads in there. Yeah, they'll so they'll kick on. I was going to say I don't know too many names in that Portland B great side. So yeah, so I wonder what happened. The big fist. Yeah, well he let me. He was supposed to play golf for me uh, yesterday, but he let me down and he was just too hungover. Last uh, yes Saturday night, just too big of a night, couldn't find up. No, and. Um, it's uh, no, his missus is in the cardboard cutout. She's a very nice girl. I've met her, um, and it wasn't a bloke. So, but in saying that, um, yeah, he wasn't. Uh, he a little bit injured. The old fist got fallen on by the by a ruckman, and, and uh, might have done his uh, medial on the other leg. Oh, well, that's what he says. That's <laughs> it. But he was he was actually <coughs> more strapped up than what I used to be, which is <laughs> a massive amount. So looking at next week's games, we've got Broadview and Gazer at Broadview. Uh, uh, Broadview, I reckon maybe <laughs> I can't remember the later positions here, but I, I reckon Broadview are sitting in in fifth at the moment. Yeah, yeah, I thought that was the case. Yep. So yeah, Broadview here for me. Foss Canham and Old Ignatians. Now this is this is uh, fourth versus second. Old Iggy's only the one one loss, same as Fossey. So it's gonna. This is a now another week where it can really open up. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, his home side. Um, old. Oh, it's Fossey's. I still got Old Iggy's. <laughs> it's not far for them to travel. Yeah, I'll dead ends that highway. Oh yeah, I still reckon Old Iggy's will get up. I, I like Old Iggy's away, um, and they'll, they'll need to win these games away moving into the latter part of the, the season to, to get a good footprint. But um, Modbury St. Peter's. This is another top of the table for sure. Uh, no, that's shock I was thinking of. It would have been, uh, yeah, no, Modbury to win this and win easy. And we've got Smosh West Lakes and the Sacred Heart. Uh, Smosh. No, Sacred Heart, sorry. I was getting them ones mixed up as well. Yep, yeah, I Sacred Heart, yeah. And I reckon a little bit as well. I think I think Smosh will take it up to them. It won't be an easy win for Sacred Heart, but big oval. They'll both play it well, but um, I think Sacred Heart will just just win that one. Ooh, match of the round. Yeah, match of the round. Scotch Old Collegians and the Portland Thunder. So Scotch the battle battle of the cellar dwellers. Yeah. Let's have a look at the score differentials here. 
Well, Scotch Oak Collegians are one in five in ninth position. 247 points for, 516 against. Portland, 77 for, 759 against. Yeah, and the thing that's going to do Portland in this week is if Scotch have won against someone else that's not Portland. So, yeah, <laughs> they'll win this. And that's generally, beat, yeah. that is generally what happened last year. So, they're, they're, again, like Kilburn, still doing their thing. They're getting three sides oh, yeah. together. Um, but you've got some guys playing two, two games of footy still. They just want to play so they can sit on the hill afterwards and watch the days anyway. Yeah, exactly. So, and that's the thing. There was a, there was feedback that came from um, from the previous game yeah, with Monbury. Yeah. yeah, that all the boys hung around yeah, and stayed to watch. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Um, but for me, I do think it'll be Scotch Old Collegians. They're going to be far too strong. There's too much. But Portland do have more numbers coming back this week, evidently. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Scotch plenty, by yeah. plenty. Yeah, I just wish it was at the Thunderdome. Might have been a little bit different, but not winning. But no. Closer, but no, yes, Scotch. Yeah. Win. Easy. yeah, hopefully Portland can start to turn around a little bit. They're a better club than what they, than what they are letting everybody see at the moment. So we'll see how that goes. Yep. So that's it. That's all we've got time for this week. Make sure you subscribe to the SA Footballer magazine and we'll catch you again next week. See ya.